Here are our five favorite workshop items for week 43 in no particular order. First up is the Razor Fancy Circle set for Razor, created by Zhu King 12. It comes with five items, including a new head, armor, arms, belt, and weapon. Aside from the name being completely random, this is quite a refreshing set. It gives Razor a non blah feel, which is certainly welcoming, considering his current absence from not only games themselves, but the workshop as well. Next is the Garb of the Ancient One set for Rubik, created by 7th Battery. It comes with four items, including a staff, cloak, armor piece, and mask. Rubik sets seem to be the in thing the last couple of months. We've featured quite a few of them and they have all been worthy, including this one. This set gives Rubik a more evil look, which I think differentiates itself from the others nicely. Third is the Brute set for Ogre Magi, created by Mantra. It comes with five items, including a club, cape, arm guard, belt, and a boar's head which serves as a hood. Coming into this workshop series, I thought that Ogre Magi would be one of the more popular sets. For whatever reason, I've been completely wrong about this, but every time I see one come out, I have hope that it'll catch on. I like this particular set because it gives the twin idiots a more primitive look, which I think we can all agree is thematically fitting. Fourth is the Attributes of the Foretold set for Coddle, created by Tinnick. It comes with five items including a headpiece, staff, and a brand new horse which is adorned with front armor and back fabrics. This could be the best Coddle set we've come across as of yet. It transforms him and his horse into an Arabian. I'm pretty biased with this since I lived in the Middle East, but I really do think that this set is a home run. Last, we have the Night Bloom set from Marana, created by Chemical Aaliyah and Dry. It comes with seven items, including a skirt of armor, shoulder piece, bow, quiver, bracers, new hairdo, and a silver lion. As much as I have loved some of the past Marana sets, this is my personal favorite so far. I've been waiting for somebody to come out with just a plain and simple lion mount. It reminds me of the great Aslan from the Narnia book series. Also, I'm not sure how Chemical Ali and Dry have done it, but they've somehow made Marana look like less of a man. The next step? Well, that would be a new voice. 